Hello guys, it's Mungai Eve. Welcome to the Mungai Eve show. And of course, we are the number one online TV show. So guys, bado tuko kwenye Kiambu prison. They had an event and they invited me. Nikao na wacha to pick a story with some of the inmates. And with me, I have an inmate. Amekua hapa. Ako almost kumaliza 20 years. So guys, tuko to keep a story na ye atatueleza what exactly happened. Na pia atapea mavija na advice out there. Anyway, tunakuita nani? Sleiman Otieno Aziz. Uh -huh. Aziza. Aziza ongea na nguvu. <laughs> Sleiman Otieno Aziz. Uh -huh. Wow. Ilikuwaje Aziza ndo ukajipata hapa? Yeah, I can remember vividly uh, wakati nilikuwa mtoto mdogo. I was engaging in, uh, in robberies so that at least I can get something for the day. Ukiwa mtoto mdogo? Like how old? Around 18 to 19 years. So, uh, ikisi ime niletapa ilikuwa ni robbery with violence ya kulikuwa na mama alikuwa natoa pesa pale Kenko kuna Standard Bank alikuwa napeleka EQT Bank So, in the middle of that tulikuwa watu watatu tukeza kumrob na wakati tulimrob mawilu alitoroka me nika, nika So, on 2009 mwezi wa ine tare nane that's the time nili some my judgment yangu na outcome ilikuwa I was condemned to death. So eh, kibaki at that time ndo aliingia na mwisho wa hiyo 2009 akatukommute from condemn akatweka to life imprisonment. So it has been a very tough journey and a painful one because it will come a time niliona ni kama Things will never change. World, I don't need a second chance. So, nika kuwa around almost 10 years and above. So, that's the time petition ya resentencing ilikuja. So, so, so ulifa, Aziza, ulifa kufungwa maisha? Nilifungwa condemned, so I was condemned to death. Ndiyo president... Condemned you to death in Amanisha? In Amanisha, if, if you go to the last appeal, waki dismissed kama kunge kwa na ile sheria bado mtu anafa kunyongwa I could be one of them so unge nyongwa yes unge nyongwa so kibaki wakati alingia alikuwa na masi kidogo akatutua from condemn akasema tuskume life imprisonment so by that time nikuwa nikisukuma tu life imprisonment nilikuwa we shall lose ill courage and determination that world is an empathy a second chance. So nearly we are desperate. Na pia that kind of situation it is that could jeopardize my relationships na my people because we think that I will never come back again. So uh, in 2018 there was a petition ill kwa mesamoni wa namuri wa tetu versus republic. The Supreme Court waliza kusema life imprisonment is against the Bill of Rights. So, ile close, ile close ya the magistrate because condemn, because robbery with violence as a mandatory sentence. Na our magistrate wali kwa ile close even if uto a mitigation, it will just be baseless. So, ndiyo tukapata yob. Uh, your positive remarks kutoka the Supreme Court wakasema life in imprisonment is against the Bill of Rights. So, wakatoa ile close kwa ma magistrate. So, I had a turn ya kwenda kumitigate. So, after all that, nikapewa 20 years ile ambao ilikuwa nisavu nikiwa, nikiwa jela. But, thanks God, wakati wali nipatia your 20 years waleza kunia sabia from the day of the original conviction na na thank god ameza kunipatia strength so right now kwa hiyo 20 years i was supposed to serve na toka next year august on 10th and i'm so much happy okay hapa kiambu prison is it the first prison you will let talk toka mwanzo ama umekuwa kwa tofauti tofauti no nimekuwa to various prison First of all, I was in committee maximum prison. I was taken to Naivasha maximum prison. 
I was taken to Nakuru maximum prison. Oh, so normally, mtu akifungua life sentence, you go to those maximum. Yeah, you go to those maximum. Na the maximum ile nilitumikia mwisho ni ma, ni Manyani prison. So from Manyani that's the time nilipata ile access naweza pata a chance ya to go for the resentencing. So nikatoka Mwea nikarudi back to committee main I went to court nikapewa hiyo 20 years na because nilikuwa nimeka more than 10 years nikapelekwa to committee medium prison Okay so Aziza ningetaka kujua kwa hii safari yote watu wenu wanakuja kukuona ama wali give up along the road Yeah at first uh, the 10 years first walikuwa wame give up lakini nika pray so hard god aka to rejoin pamoja so they have been coming to visit wamekuwa wakikuja so aziza if you can remember ukifungwa ulikuwa na miaka ngapi nilikuwa na 19 years and right now i have 35 years 35 years ningetaka kujua do you at some point unakaa hivyo una feel stressed pengine hiyo miaka yote una feel kama hiyo miaka yote imekuwa waste yeah, yo miaka yote because uh, wale watu nilikuwa nikisoma na wao sai they have their family they are uh, wana live happily wame achieve their dreams na mi yangu it just remains stagnant bado leo niko jela Do you regret for the act you did Yeah at the first time uh, wakati niliingia I was re regretting lakini nikaona iron lazima ishapen iron so ile kitu niliona the best thing that have changed kwa life yangu because uh, the way you think ina determines the way you will feel and the way you will feel ina impact na zile action so the only thing ile niliweza kufanya ya kwanza ili bidi to accept myself to adjust and to move on with life so nilikam nikakuwa na ma, nikajua self awareness na katika prison niliweza kutichiwa na Faraja Faraja Foundation wali ni train nikakuwa a peer counselor so ile change kabla nifanyie mtu ilibidi kwanza ni change my inner perspective ndo niweze kuilete na ma outer perspective so ilibidi ni solve my issues within me ndo nikitoka iweze kunipatia chance ya ku integrate back with the society I normally uh, here in committee maximum prison I kukwangi raisi what are some of the challenges you faced Yeah challenges uko ya kwanza it has a very big wall awezi on anything around you unaona tu eh, unaona tu juu peke yake na challenges iko ziko more because eh, I'm a first offender na nilifika pale nikakutana na the adco prisoners wale tumekuwa tukiwasikia huko nje so nilikuwa na feel ni kama pia i can get bad lakini when i realized myself ikabidi those people i will use them as a stepping stone ndo naweza ku achieve ile kitu nataka alafu ile kitu nilisaidia sana ni prison kwangu nilitan to be a paradigm shift from punishment to correction and rehabilitation so ndo nikakumbuka one day nilikuwa na napika na cake nikipika cake kuna vitu zingi to, to bake a cake yeah. wow. so nilichukua something that ziko bitter kama chumvi nikachukua something that are so nikachukua sukari lakini when i blend them together wakati niliweka kwa oven wakati litoka it was very sweet so hizi challenges zote mwanga nimepitia na zichukua kidogo na zi grind together naweka kwa oven na na believe ya kwamba nikitoka jela mpaka ule jirani wangu atasema atafadhali mtoto wake angeenda angeenda jela kama mimi atoke ame reform kama mimi okay. na nikitaka kujua what exactly uh, ilikuwaje no sasa ukajipata hapa kwa kami hapa kwa Kiambu prison yeah thank you very much eh, nilikuwa nili ka, ka medium 
na committee bill ya I didn't have the serenity eh, ya ku, to be myself because ni jela ya, ya kilimo and I've ne, ya? ya kilimo mm -hmm. so that means is a must to tenda kwa shamba it doesn't have uh, so many rehabilitation program so ndo nikawaambia wanitoe huko wakanileta mpaka pa Kiambu Kiambu nimekam nikapata ni prison nyingine poa sana uh, the officers wale wako hapa they have that belief of rehabilitating people so they don't have that chance ya kulukuta after shida ndo so that they can punish you but tuna work and uh, work and on and with them so that to achieve that goal kurekebishwa na haki kuna watu usema hapa jela watu hupitia magumu kuna kupigwa kuna kukosa kulala vizuri kuna yani kuna matatizo mengi sana wewe unaweza sema ni challenges gani umepata nazo hapa ya yeah, uh, so nikianza nusema ya kwamba jela kubwa ni si guantanamu si kamiti si naivasha jela kubwa ni ya mind so uh, wakati nilikam hapa first of all niliweza kukubali mimi mfungwa na mimi nikiwa kama mfungwa every day lazima nijikumbushe hiyo so anything that i will be doing i will be doing with my all strength and energy because na feel in the only time wana test my patience my humbleness so anything that ndapewa hiyo command ya kufanya i will do it old heartedly because anything that i cannot change i just have to accept and i accept with a positive attitude wow and what happened you have a scar here <laughs> yeah i na remember wakati eh, ya hiyo robbery niliweza kupigwa na mob justice na nilikufa nusu wakati nilipelekwa Kenya hata kutibiwa eh, wakati nilikuwa hapo kwa casualty walikuwa me take time kabla waniingishe nitibiwe so there was a, a doctor alikuwa anapita karibu na mimi na akaiona akauliza mafande why are you keeping this guy here for that long duration na in a certain time is for tritiwa ayezi shonwa so hapo ndo nilishonwa oh, so it happened that time na ilikuwa hiyo incident ile happen wapi ni town ni area gani ya yeah, ni pale Kencom oh town Nairobi wazizo umetoka wapi umezaliwa wapi ya yeah, mimi nimezaliwa Nairobi West Hospital nimelelewa madaraka estate oh so where ni mtu wa Nairobi ya yeah. ni uh -huh. advice gani unaweza taka kupea watu wenye probably wana watch video vijana na pia wale wako hapa ndani unajua like wewe i feel like you have a very positive attitude towards life you're not feeling like it's the end you've been here for almost 20 years now but you still believe it's not the end ungetaka kuwapea advice yeah. First and foremost uh, ile, ile motivation mimi niko nayo staki nikitoka jela niende kutafuta my white collar job I've been uh, through ups and down nimekuwa kwa series of difficult and unpleasant uh, situation so first and foremost mimi nataka nikitoka jela I want to look for a non governmental organization ile kitu yote nimepitia nataka ikuwe aili kwa mtu mmoja yuko ule yuko huko nje so i just believe that nataka ku change watu na zile vitu zote nimekuwa nikipitia so ile kitu ndambia my youths out there they should stay away from drugs because drugs ndo itawa trigger kwenda kufanya robbery na hiyo muda wote mimi nimekaa jela sijawahi ona mtu amepewa certificate being the best robber instead of that certificate ni moja tu ndo inapatikana ambao ni death warrant so mimi naambia all the boys out there if they can hear me crime does not pay na crime is very dangerous itafanya ukwe separated from your family itafanya ukwe separated from your beloved wife itafanya ukwe separated from your children so just keep away from crime because crime is your power crime hiyo uki, ukifanya itakuleta to the real deep balls of poverty 
na itajopatize life yako na itagro cooked so if you just want to live a better life stay away from drug stay away from peer pressure stay from people who can easily absorb you and put you into prison Okay. What about your to your people when you make support or make shikilia adi society? Yeah, first and foremost, na shukuru my my grandma. My grandma has been so supporting to me na my mom na all the people na first kuna mom amekuwa karibu na mimi anaitwa Phyllis Maso. Phyllis Maso eh, was a lecturer of this university. I make a, a very big support to my life until today I'm sound at kicking. Thank you so much Aziza. I can see you know what say freedom ni buhimu. Prison kuna time. Sasa sasa hizi ni time ya kuingia ndani. I don't want to take a lot of your time. Yeah, na one thing. Aziza na ongea. Ninge mzee na one thing. Yeah, my other name ile inajulikana the most congregation um Elvis Collins Otieno I've been I've, I've been brought up in Madaraka estate I've gone to Madaraka primary I was at Tala Academy but right now I'm in Kiambi University and I know that I will come out with a very big degree that will be able to change lives to be able to change their direction and to live an humble life Thanks. What are you doing in the university yeah, I'm changing myself so that all the sorrows that I've passed through can be a healing. I believe that Kenya is 99%. They just only need me 1% so that I can change because I believe in myself. I and I can bring a very big change to Kenya. Thank you so much, Aziza. We really appreciate and we wish you all the best. Next year, I'll find you. Ukitoka? Umesema unatoka? August. Yes, I'll come out the next day. Wow, we wish you all the best. Thank you so much and we really appreciate it. Sawa, so sawa. Aya. So guys, uh, it has been the Mungai Eve show. Unajua sisi taka kueka hapa, wanafa kuesabiwa in everything. But I really appreciate for this opportunity. With a big shout out to Madam Evelyn, Kiambu Prison. She invited me here, Simjuya to Juani, but she invited me, Nikona. Why not? Let me come. It's my first experience. I've never been into prison. I fear police officers so much. But Leo ni mekwana wao. I know, I fear them, but Leo ni mekwana wao. Big thank you to them. Na pia guys, in case you're watching this video, uh, remember, crime doesn't pay. Na kama unafanya kazimbaya, ebu rekebisha before you come here. Hit that subscribe button. We meet in the next video.